everyone, welcome back to Crochet Delight. I'm Barbara, and welcome back to Hot Off the Hook Friday. So, it's going to be a very short Hot Off the Hook Friday. Um, no intro like I have been doing lately. Um, one, losing track of time. Um, I had an emergency to take care of. I had a really bad emergency to take care of. Because of work, I have not been able to pay attention very well to my own dog. So she ended up with an infection that almost made her septic. And what happened was she ended up with a pyrometra. Now I'm not going to explain what a pyrometra is because it's it's not pretty. But because of that she had to have an emergency spay. Um so everything's gone in there. Um she is at that age where stuff like that's happening. So I had to get on top of that and if I had let her go any sooner or any longer with that she would have gone septic so she is recovering she is in a lot of pain and I completely spaced on hot off the hook Friday because this literally just happened to her last night and I'm in such a wreck but I do have a work in progress to show you guys. <laughs> See if I can get it out without ruining the progress that I have. <laughs> so, I am working on a blouse and I am using panty yarns. So this is what I've got so far and right up to here is the sleeves so that's where the armholes are going to be and now i'm working on the body portion of it and let me see if i can get just see these are some beautiful beautiful patterns and it's gonna have like a little heart shaped pattern going down it and it's one of my favorite ones one of my favorite patterns to do and I've been working on it here and there, and I also have a spin half in the works. Uh, one spin half had to be sent back because, one, I don't have time for it, and two, it's a very short timeline on that one, and I was not confident about meeting that timeline, especially since it's such a precious gift that that yarn would have been made into. So I made the decision to send it to back to the owner or have the owner decide whether or not she wanted me to send it to another spinner and hopefully that gets done for her. Um, I always will accept my limitations, and this is the first time in a long time I have not been able to finish an order for someone, and I do feel really bad about it, but at the same time, I have limitations. I am only one person, and I have to accept those limitations. And right now, I'm accepting a lot of limitations. <laughs> um... I have to keep little her hydrated, keep food in her, keep antibiotics, and a very, very heavy antibiotics and very heavy painkillers for her. And she's going to be recovering for quite a while, um, so she's essentially got her own intensive care unit right here at home, and I will be doing nothing but taking care of her. For the next couple of weeks and doing work as much as I can while still working around my schedule to take care of her 
as you guys know, Sophia is my baby, and I will always, always choose her over anything else. Her health comes first, my health comes second, work comes third. Work is always the last thing on my mind. She is always the first thing on my mind. And right now she is snuggled up nice and adorable. She got a haircut because, you know, she needed the weight off of her because of the incision. And all her hair was getting heavy and pulling on her and causing more pain. So... She's been trimmed down, and she's as adorable as always, and I keep looking this way because that's where she is in my line of vision, and I'm always going to keep an eye on her. But anyways, <laughs> I've dragged on long enough about that. Um, I will try my best to get something else done, or at least halfway done, for you guys to see next week, and hopefully I don't forget again. I can't promise. Um... I am working on, like I said, that spin half, and it is with Sari Alpaca, and this one's named Lilac, and then I will be working on Marquise again. Um, yeah, looking forward to what I've got coming to show you guys, and when I get it all done, I will definitely be showing you guys when it's done, and I wish that your hands could literally just reach right through the camera and feel the yarn every time I show it to you guys because this is so silky soft. There, it's just about silkier than silk. <laughs> That's the only way that I know how to put it. But, alright. Have a delightful day and happy hooking everyone. Bye!